Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you how to execute commands on multiple remote Linux machines using single terminal in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, let's discuss the case scenario. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my lab setup environment. So let's discuss the case scenario first. Normally what happens in Linux environment, whenever we are talking about remote session or transferring securing file over the network, we used OpenSSS tool. No doubt, this is one of the most widely used and powerful tool available for all Linux platform. But the limitation of OpenSSH is that you cannot execute the same command on the multiple hosts at the same time. So OpenSSH is not developed to perform such task. This is why parallel SSH or you can say PSSH tool comes in handy. It is Python based application which allows you to execute commands on multiple hosts in parallel at the same time. So uh, that's why here I mentioned what is PSSH. So PSSH is a program for executing SSH in a parallel or in a number of hosts. It provides features such as sending input to all of the process, passing a password to SSH, saving output to files and many more. Okay, so these tools are very useful for the system administrator who find themselves working with the large collections of nodes on a network. So guys, in this video, we will talk about the PSSH command and its utilization in RHEL 8. Okay, so for the demonstration purpose, here I have three trusted virtual machine. First machine acting as a server and uh, with the host name server1.example.com. My address is one ninety two sixty eight zero dot one, and the running Linux OS is eight point zero. My second machine acting as a Linux client with the host name station1.example.com. My address is one ninety two sixty eight dot zero dot two, and the third machine is also acting as a remote client that is station2.example.com, and IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot three, and both client machine we are running rail eight point zero operating system. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate you in this server machine I'm talking about here. In this server machine, I install and configure PSSH command and execute this command on the multiple host in a parallel way at the same time. Okay, so how we can do that? Let's go to the begin the lab session. So guys, this is my Linux terminal, and first of all, I'll show you the host name and the release version of this operating system. So the command is host name ctl. See, uh, the host name is server1.example.com of this machine and currently I am logged in with root user and the running Linux OS is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0. Let's check the IP address of this machine. So, we can go through hostname command also. Hostname hyphen i. Look at that. The IP address of this machine is server1.example.com is 192.168.0.1. Okay, so for complete this setup, we have to follow few steps. Step number one is update this system. Before going uh, through the PSSH package installation, you need to update your system with the latest update. So for this, we can uh, go with the yum update commands. So, but remember, in this case, local yum repository should be pre-configured. So I go with yum update. Okay dependency resolve nothing to do it's complete so you can see it's already updated okay now second point is second step is download and install the PSSH package once the system is updated with the latest update it is it is now time to install your PSSH package by default it's now it's not available in Red Hat uh, 8.0 RHL 8.0 repository you can simply google it and download PSSH package for your release operating system version otherwise uh, I have already mentioned the download link in my description so you can just click and directly download from there I have already downloaded in my home directory under the download folder so here I am I am in my slash root I go to the downloads and if I run the ls command look at that so this is the package you have to google it and download it otherwise you can take the help from my link also okay now you can simply install the package either yum command or rpm command so I go with the rpm command it's very easy rpm hyphen ivh and the package name so i is basically installed v for verbose and h for hashing the algorithm so it says uh, it says that the package is already installed uh, it's a uh, uh, it's properly configured so after inst successful installation of this package we can verify install pssh package using rpm query command or you can also take the help from rpm hyphen qa so i go with rpm query and pssh let's see okay uh, see it's installed successfully if you want to verify the pssh installed version you can do that by running pssh hyphen hyphen version See, you can notice that from the output current install version is 2.3.1. So we have successfully completed this step. Now move to the next part that is how to use PSSH command. 
so when you when you're using PSSH you need to create a host file with the number of host along with the IP addresses and the port number that you need to connect to the remote system using PSSH command so I make a file name could be anything location could be anywhere in I'm case in my case I'm using uh, remote underscore file name could be any, uh, anything and uh, currently I'm in my home location so I press enter it's blank just put up the entry so here I mentioned the number of my host along with the username and the IP address and the port number so I say username is root at the rate 192.168.0.2 colon port number is 22 similarly go with the next one uh, that is your 3 okay you can uh, if you want to need to give the machine name you can also mention the machine name in the place of IP address now save and quit from there just try to ping and verify that you are reachable or not so yeah it's completed two and three great okay now move to the final step which is check PSS uses so it is time to check the uses of PSS tool by launching a command for remote machine so the command is I'm running the command final command PSSH hyphen H file location hyphen L username hyphen capital A hyphen I the command whatever command you, you want to execute so I say in my case I'm I'm go with uptime command so here I choose uh, to run a simple uptime command on both remote machine but before press enter let's try to understand this command first so small h is used for uh, to read the host file hyphen L this is used for define the user field or username hyphen capital A this is used for ask the password authentication and send it to the SSH and small i that is very very important this is inline option display standard output and standard error as each host completes because I have already mentioned the required username entry in the remote file so here no need to give hyphen L and the username option so we can skip this option so I just uh, remove these two things hyphen L and root okay now uh, I'm going to press enter let's see what happened it asks password give the password great look at that now we can see the output of both machine so this is the uptime of machine 2 and this is the output of machine number 0.3 okay suppose uh, if you want to just grab the output of only station 2.example.com or in my case is 192.1.0.2 machine then we can run this command in a such manner suppose we here we have only two uh, field entry in my remote file but you have a hundred and thousand then so in this case you can use in place of small h you can go with capital H and the mention the IP address or machine name whatever see once I press enter here grab the result the password okay now capital H so here capital H is used for giving the host string to the list host okay if you want to want to send multiple commands to a multiple server so for this the command will be uh, I take the example of remote file suppose I need uptime as well as date both so just I pass both command output Do the password look at that date command output as well as up time, up time command output okay now the last and a very important point uh, we can also create the key based authentication so that it won't ask password again and again so let's create the SSH keys on server side and distribute it uh, it your trusted remote host so here I am on my server machine I run the command SSH keygen go with blank password now key has been successfully created now copy this key and distributed it both of the client machine one by one using as such copy ID command so I go with as such copy ID hyphen I the path of my public key file ID underscore RC pub root at the rate 192.168.0.2 first of all station 2 say give the password red hat okay key now see one key added successfully same for the my another machine okay now I again run the command PSH and let's see the magic what happened so command is this time I'm using PSH hyphen H remote file and no need of capital A this time okay so let's see what happened when I press enter 
because ca capital is uh, doesn't require because the, this time we have established a key based authentication between my server and the remote clients okay so i press enter let's see what happened look at that now you can see it didn't ask for the password so this is how you can create a key based authentication also not the pair now uh, suppose if you want to if you want to install some packages or, uh, uh, or if you want to take the any output suppose i want to install a package let's see i want to install ftp package on both sides so i can go with yum install install vsftpd hyphen y just for the testing purpose it will take some time but remember yum repository should be configured on both all machines and it should not ask password also okay it's completed now you can see it didn't ask for password okay now package is installed on the both machine let's verify with the rpm query command output whether the package is installed or not so i go with again rpm query look at that see the installation on the both machine has been successfully completed so guys uh, parallel ssh or psh is a good tool to use for executing command in an environment where a system administrator has to work with many server on a network it will make it easy for commands to be executed remotely on the different host on a network so this is how we can work with the psss command in the network and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye